Today's tutorial, how to read specific documents using OCR in C Sharp. Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to read specific documents using Iron OCR. Today we're going to explore how to configure Iron OCR to read different types of documents such as PDFs, images of license plates, passports, and screenshots. I've already installed Iron OCR and advanced scanning pack in my project using the NuGet package manager. So let's go ahead and open up the program CS file and get started. So first we import the necessary namespaces and set up Iron OCR by specifying the license key. This step is crucial to enable the full features of the library. Then we instantiate Iron Tesseract object and configure the OCR engine by setting the page segmentation mode to single block, which helps in accurately reading single blocks of text. We load a PDF document named 5.pdf using the OCR input class. This document is then passed to the read document method of our OCR engine to perform OCR. The extracted text from the PDF is then printed to the console demonstrating OCR's capabilities for scanned PDFs. So next we process an image of a license plate named license plate JPEG. We load the image and use the read license plate method to perform OCR. And the result includes the license plate text and its coordinates. We print the license plate value to the console showcasing how Iron OCR can handle specific document types like license plates. We then load an image of a passport named passport.pmg using Iron OCR's load image method. Then using the read passport method, we perform OCR on the passport image. The result includes detailed passport information, such as given names, country, passport number, surname, uh, date of birth, and date of expiration. And then we print this information to the console, highlighting Iron OCR's ability to extract structured data from passports. Next, we process an image named photo.tiff. We load the image using the load image frame method. We then use the read photo method to perform OCR and extract text regions from the image. The result includes text regions with their corresponding frame numbers and regions. We print the text from the first region and its coordinates to the console, demonstrating how we work with text regions with images. Finally, we load an image of a screenshot named screenshot.png. We use the read screenshot method to perform OCR on the screenshot. The result includes the extracted text and text regions. We bring the extracted text, the X coordinate of the first text region, the width of the last text region, and the overall confidence of the OCR result to the console. This showcases how to handle OCR for screenshots and extract relevant information. So here is the PDF file and images. We have a screenshot, a license plate, passport, and photo.tiff images that we would use as input. All right, so let's go ahead and run the program and wait for the execution to complete. All right, so here you go. The console shows output text extraction from the scanned PDF files and the different types of extractions from the images, license plate, passport, photo, and screenshot. This concludes our tutorial on how to read specific documents. Iron OCR provides powerful capabilities to read and extract from various types of documents, including, as you can see, PDFs, images of license plates, passports, and screenshots. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more useful tutorials from Iron Software. And if you'd like to get started with Iron OCR, go ahead and sign up for a trial on the site and continue to download and install the package and experience the power of our software firsthand. Click the link below in the description. Check it out for yourself.